Welcome back, YouTubers, to another episode of Fix It and Build It from Ohio. Today, we're going to defrost the freezer. As you can see, we have this cool 1950s fridge. We bought a fridge off Craigslist for 50 bucks, but we knew somebody that had one that was like this, and this matches our house a little better, so we decided to trade them for this fridge. The fridge works great, except for one big problem. As you can see, the freezer door is stuck shut because it's frozen. Oh, it's just really not coming out of there. So we're going to have to uh, turn the fridge off to start. We're going to clean out the food, and then we're going to try and attack it with a uh, hair dryer, see if we can't get this uh, to open. We've now removed all the food from the refrigerator, and we're ready to start attacking with the hair dryer. We put most of the food in our deep freezer, and in a cooler, put some ice in it to keep the food cool. When using a hair dryer to defrost your freezer, you need to remember that you're using an electrical appliance near water, so there is the risk of electrical shock. One thing you'll want to have handy is you'll want to have towels that you can lay on the floor so that you don't soak your floor. It's sometimes necessary to defrost the drain hole coming from the freezer that goes down, down into this drip channel that then runs down to the bottom, goes to the drain in the bottom, to your evaporation pan. That way the water collects and evaporates as it should. Keeping this drain clear is very, very important. Ours actually froze and froze into the drip channel. So now I'm having to defrost that. To get to your drain pan, you have to remove your kick plate from the front of your refrigerator. Sometimes it's on the front, sometimes it's on the back. Ours is on the front. All we do, just lift up on it, remove it, slide it out of the way. Here there'll be a plastic pan from the bottom. You can pull it out and as you can see it has caught things in it. The discoloration is from where there's been things in the water and it's dried into the pan. Be very careful with this pan as it can become very fragile the older it is, and they're extremely hard to find to replace. Right now there's nothing in our pan, so we'll just let it collect some water and we'll empty it out in the sink as it gets water into it. We had a uh, pooling of water in the bottom of the refrigerator here, and so I removed the cap to the plug and noticed that the plug was clogged, so I went ahead and unplugged the plug, and then we got plenty of water into our drain pan, which we then used one of the crisper pans to go ahead and empty it into that to dump it. Now that that problem has been solved and we have drainage of water, we went back to defrosting the door here to get the door open. Now we can finally get the door open. As you can see, it's really, really frozen. Now we have to remove this frost by using the hair dryer. There are several different ways you could do this. You could just leave the freezer to its own devices and let it defrost itself once you've turned off the fridge. But that tends to make a really large mess and takes a very long time. We want to get this done in the shortest amount of time possible, so we're going to apply some heat. You can also do such things as stick a box spray in front of it to speed up the process. What you do not want to do is you do not want to use any sharp objects like an ice pick or anything like that to remove this ice because you can actually puncture through the walls of the fridge itself and you could hit the free online and then your freezer is just completely done. Your whole fridge is done. Because once that free on leaks out, the fridge will not get cold anymore. I'm going to take a quick break and let this uh, take care of itself. Because I just found a popsicle and I'm going to eat it. Mmm, yummy. Now, you'd probably want to use gloves for this. I worked in a grocery store for several years and, uh, dealt with the freezer items, so I really don't feel much in my hands anymore, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> We're using one of the uh, crisper pans that we pulled from the bottom of the fridge to collect all of our big chunks of ice and froth so that we can put them in the sink later. Actually, we may just throw it into our gray water barrel. 
and uh, let it defrost in there. We could use this to flush the toilet. I can totally see that happening. Ah, oh, here we go. The frosty mug. It's so good. <laughs> very, very cold. Ah, oh, there's something wrapped in aluminum foil. Ooh, what could it be? Don't open it yet. Just think it's meat. Look at the top. Sliced ham. <laughs> Don't know if that's still going to be good or not. We'll have to, uh, Check the internet for the, uh, rated, uh, ex expiration of sliced ham. We can at least say that's been in there at least three months. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go back to using the, uh, hair dryer some more. Alright, now we finally managed to get the, uh, the fish sticks out. Gotta love the Gordon's Fisherman. We also found a pack of blueberries, a pack of cherries, a couple ice packs, about six empty ice trays, some burritos, some ham, a cup, a boo-boo patch, and ice. Lots and lots and lots of ice. Once you get it to about this point where it's kind of slushy, you could use a, a turner or a spatula to go ahead and scrape some of this out. I'm going to suggest using a Teflon one or a plastic one instead of a metal one because you wouldn't want to gouge the sides of your freezer or anything like that. Gouging it would cause air leakage, which would cause this problem to become ten times worse, or to cause your compressor to go out from overworking itself. When cleaning out your freezer, remember not to use any soaps that have fragrances or any dish soaps or anything like that. Once the door is closed, the fragrance will be trapped inside and can leach into your food products. Any harsh abrasives can scratch or crack the interior of your fridge and, and cause it not to work properly, so stay away from things like bleach. The best preventative measure to keep your freezer from frosting over is to wipe down items if they're dripping or wet before you stick them into your freezer. You can also make sure that lids to items are closed, and that the door is closed properly. If you see any frost forming, take care of it immediately. Don't let it become a problem. Because nobody likes a frosty freezer. <laughs> this is your freezer on frost. Now that is a big piece of frost. Got it all out in one piece. Now that we've defrosted the freezer and it's completely empty, we're going to try a new thing that I read online that works. Well, that somebody says works. I'm going to try spraying some Pam in the interior to see if that will keep the frost from sticking to the sides as much. And when cleaning out your refrigerator and removing all the items, it's a great time to go ahead and remove all the items that are expired and there are bad. Go ahead and clean it all out. Give your fridge a good wipe down. The best uh, thing that you could use to clean your fridge with is use some warm water with two tablespoons of baking soda and you could just wipe your fridge down with that. It should clean it pretty well. Don't forget to clean under the crisper pans. Remove those and clean those as well. Be careful sticking hot water on any glass in your refrigerator as the glass was cold. If it is still cold, it can crack and break, and then you have to go out and find a new piece of glass. If you like this video, please recommend it to somebody else to watch. I really need a lot of subscribers. Don't forget to click subscribe up in the box there. And uh, make sure that you rate and comment the video below. I'm trying to get a partnership with YouTube, so the more subscribers, the better. Thanks for watching. Fix it and build it from Ohio. 100% all natural pan. Not just for the stove anymore. You can use it in your freezer to keep the frost away. Now the part about it working, I'm not quite sure if it works, but I'll get back to you on that and let you know in a future video if it really works to keep the frost away.